we're in New Zealand, where we venture to Hapuku Lodge in tree houses on the beautiful Kaikoura coast of the South Island of New Zealand. So we just arrived at the fantastic Hapuku Lodge and Tree Houses in beautiful Kaikoura, where the ocean meets the sea. And I'm here to meet up with Chef Rich to try out some of his fantastic local recipes. Hey, Chef Rich. How you doing, Mike C? How you doing? Good. Good to meet you, man. Pleasure. I've heard all about your lodge here and your fantastic local cuisine. Oh, well, perfect, perfect. Well, we're going to cook some stuff up for you today before we get started, though. Why don't we go down and check out where I pick all my goods from? Cool. Perfect. Lead the way, Chef. Come on down, check out our greenhouse. We got nice. first year in service, trying to put it together, see what we can come up with. Here we got some cherry tomatoes. We'll come down, it goes in all of our salads. Have some roast them off, make some vinaigrettes once in a while, things like that. It's right off the vine, that's what we're talking about. Some of these chilies we've got over here. We'll take some of these chilies, we like to make our own chili flakes, dry oh, it nice. out. Love it's wild it. watercress. Um, we're gonna take some of this, make a little salad out of it, put it on top of our ravioli dish we're gonna make today. Right. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Nice. Fresh, bushy, water fresh. Breath. Delicious. Super peppery. I see that we got a bunch of the stuff here. What's our first recipe today? Today we're going to start off making a nice uh, tomato sauce, nice saffron tomato sauce to go along with our fennel, our Pernod braised fennel, and uh, tomato ragu to go underneath the ravioli we're going to make this afternoon. Cool. Oh, yeah. So what's the first thing I can help you with? Well, if I got to start off today, I'll, I'll dice up the onion if you want to help me dice up this fennel here. And sure thing. Slice some garlic. Get, get this sauce rolling. Sounds good to me. And we got some garlic. You want it sl uh, sliced? Sliced, please. Let's do it. Right. You like to use some of this local olive yeah, oil Yeah, this here? is from uh, Phil Richardson right around the corner down here. Just a nice little coating in the bottom of the pan here. Yeah, I got some local rock salt. From Can't beat that. Some chili flakes from out of our garden. We dry. Oh, these are some of the chilies that we saw. Yep, in yep. We're going to deglaze a little bit of white wine. Let that come down with the saffron. Probably reduce by about half. So we're just going to... So kind of a nice, crisp white wine. It takes about half of what I would use normal saffron, store-bought saffron, so. Can you use some nice organic canned tomatoes? Yes. It's beautiful sauce. Yeah, I usually put it on a real slow simmer for a good three, four hours. Yeah, so come down. I'm just gonna half this fennel bulb, cut the tops off. Get anything that's brown off the bottom of it. Just cut it in half. A little oil on the bottom of the pan. Very little. Just like a smooth little coating. Get a little bit of salt. Nice fresh cracked pepper. Can't go yeah. wrong with that. Nope, we're gonna set these in here. I'm gonna go with a little Pernod for this. So Pernod is a little anise flavored liqueur from France. We're gonna take a little bit of parchment. It's a trick. Don't believe them. <laughs> Just do a little cover for it. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in the oven and to prevent the top from getting any color on it. But notice how he's measuring the parchment paper so it's gonna fit precisely over the pan and voila, I've got the little hole in the center that's gonna help release the steam, but the parchment sitting right on top is gonna to help protect it from over browning while it's in the oven. 275 Fahrenheit. Okay, and about Excuse how me. long is this gonna, process gonna take? It's probably gonna take about three hours. So cool. should we put that in the oven? Yeah, man. So you got the fennel in the oven, we got the sauce simmering away, so it looks like Pasta time? Looks like we're gonna make some pasta dough. Awesome. The ravioli's going. So we're just gonna dump this on the counter. Nice. Make us a little well. Right. Crack a couple eggs into it. Nice organic eggs. I'm, I'm yes. guessing these are from down the street too? Yes, yes, they are. What do we got there? Just a little touch of cream. Ah, give it a little nice richness. Mm -hmm. Gonna take a break the eggs up, get them going together here. And once you get them rolling, you're just going to start cutting the flour into it. So you want to do it nice and slow. So a little bit of olive oil, yeah, rich in it. At the beginning. Nice. So we're going to knead this for quite a while. How long do you usually go for? About, about 10, 12 minutes. We're going to take it and just wrap it up in a little plastic wrap. Cool. 
Get it all nice there. We're gonna put it in the fridge, let it sit for like an hour so it doesn't discolor. It's uh, time for the filling for this wonderful ravioli. What do you got going on here, Chef? All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wilt down a little spinach, put a touch of water in there. And once again, I don't want it too high heat. I don't, I don't want to cook it too far along. I like zest about half that lemon into here. Okay, so I got a little microplane zester here. I'm gonna start mixing that all yep. together. A little bit of pepper. You got some chai. We're gonna mix it with some ricotta cheese. A little towel here. Ah, yeah. Really make sure you want to squish out all the extra juice. Beautiful. Take the wilted spinach. Just want to chop on that? Yeah, just run a knife through it for me if you would. Uh, not a problem. I happen to like chopping stuff up. Now we're just gonna put that in there, give it a good mix. All right, so there we go. We got us a spinach filling. So how's that dough looking, Chef? That looks pretty good. They come together really nice. Beautiful. Let's give it a little roll out with the pin. So I'm just gonna keep folding it over. So you always wanna start off with the, the widest setting when you're gonna work with a pasta roller and then work it down to thinner and thinner till you get that thinness that you want in the end. Yeah, yeah. So it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna want it about as, see I got it as <clears throat> wide as I want it. So now at this point, I'm gonna cut it into squares. A little spoonful of filling. Now as a, as a first course, I usually just do one nice good size one on top of what we're like we're doing this afternoon. And just a little water on it? Yeah. You just get around here. It's all around the outside. Right. What you're gonna wanna do is get your, get a little pool on it right here. I'm gonna grab one. And you're gonna get a little pool on it and just come down with your thumbs till the filling's nice and tight in there. Pinch it together like this. Get a little knife. Just cut off a little bit of the excess. Fennel, I think it's probably ready to go into ragu here. Rock it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing, so super soft. Yeah, but Flavors still, still just... holds itself together pretty well. Yeah. Put one of these in there. And how do you know they're done? <laughs> and that's the, the almighty <laughs> question. When are the pasta done? I, I'll take a spoon and lift it up and I'll pinch on it and see what I think. All right. Basically. All right, so how do we actually plate this now? Okay, so we got a warm plate going on here. Warm plate, warm food. I take and finish off the sauce, the ragu here with a little bit of fresh parsley. Wonderful. A little fresh, a little fresh herb bite there to it. I'm gonna set it right in the center here. So remember, we gotta make it look good. If it looks good, it tastes that much better. Oh, so yeah. we got a nice ravioli going nice. on. Nice, now we're talking. And okay. we got some of the water cress we picked today. Yeah, this dress that beautiful with fat crust. Yeah. Dress it with a little olive oil, get some salt and pepper for you. There we go. Ah, and shave the parm. I'll just finish it off with a little drizzle of this nice olive oil. And there you Chef, go, Sarah. Beautiful plate, man. Spinach and ricotta ravioli on a tomato fennel ragu with some of our wild foraged watercress. Thanks a lot, no Chef problem, Rich. Man. No problem. Check out the Hippie Gourmet's quick and simple cookbook for healthy eating, available wherever books are sold. If you've always wondered about visiting exotic and beautiful New Zealand, then check out Organic Explorer New Zealand. OrganicExplorer.com